All right, hey Cancer, so I'm doing a, a quick energy check-in. For those of you who are dealing with a brand new connection, so brand new energy, it doesn't matter if it's somebody from the past or a new person, um, you are talking to this person, there is a romantic interest, there is a connection built, so a bond. All right, we're gonna see what this person's intentions are and where the potential of this connection sits. So this is not a separation read, it's not a ghosted read. You are talking to this person. That is the intention um, for new, new beginnings. Let's see where your energy is at. Release your ex. So the time has come to clear your energy. So I feel like for whoever I'm talking to, you guys could have been connecting with somebody that maybe you thought was um, somebody who is important to you, was supposed to be there, was gonna be there. Um, this right here, release your ex, um, tells me that you guys could possibly be connecting with somebody brand new and you're not quite sure where the energy is sitting at with this person. All right. Um, so you could be coming into this energy too, where it's like, okay, it's time to forget the past and move forward with this new connection. Um, because releasing your ex, you guys, um, this right here is, is going to tell me that you, um, you know, for those in the intention that I set here, um, it could be that you've actually met somebody um, by chance. Um, uh, so somebody that just came out of left field, somebody that was completely unexpected. Um, and you could have still been holding on to energy from um, the past. All right. So let's see how you feel about this person. How do you feel about this new connection? How do you feel? <clears throat> So definitely going back and forth, all right? Um, definitely going back and forth because it's probably that you're in this energy of, do I close out the cycle? Um, am I done with the past? You know, um, it could be too that you felt that um, somebody from the past, uh, you you guys weren't done with that connection. Um, but this new person, this new connection coming through here, um, what I'm almost feeling is they're here to kind of help close that chapter, all right? So I feel like you're going back and forth on this person. Um, and it could be too that you feel like this person is too good to be true you got the star card showing up and that's is somebody who um brings a, a joy blessings um wish fulfillment this is like a dream come true um and it, you are probably still kind of reeling when it comes to uh, meeting this person the empress card coming through is basically um, a strong soul connection this is somebody who's very abundant um, this is new beginnings right here this is somebody who um, you know they, they they give off that vibe of um, warmth home and um, comfort and security right here um, this is is really deep energy all right and I, I do feel like this person has just came through and surprised you while you were processing something from the past so let's see what the energy between you guys is so the mutual energy the mutual bond so um mutually what you guys have is the three of pentacles this right here is kind of um, building towards a future um it's having the same goals and kind of inspiring one another this right here to me um it represents uh, contracts uh, soul level you know it could just be too that you guys are building a friendship and you and that's important to you both before you um, decide to move forward um, the mutual energy sitting in between you guys with this Ace of Pentacles is brand new energy, brand new um, beginnings. And I do feel that even um, unspoken thoughts would suggest that you guys can both feel um, a commitment. Um, you know, I can feel um, something deep here. I can feel that I want to move forward with this connection. You also have the Eight of Wands coming through. So this is loving the, um, you know, the connection when it comes to talking. Um, this is truth. It's honesty. It's flirtatious. It's um, vibrant energy. And I just feel... Um, where you guys connect is, is when you speak to each other, you really enjoy that company. Um, you know, you really enjoy talking to one another. So let's see um, this person's energy. What is their energy? What is their energy? We have keep an open mind. All right. So um, this right here, this person, I feel like I am talking to um, two people who typically would not date each other. So it's like I have a type. I go for a type. Um, I feel like you guys um, both could actually be kind of um, processing through that. Um, so this person right here, if, if they have said, you're not like anybody I've ever met, um, you can trust that most likely this person has a type um, that they've gone for. So um, it could be too that they're kind of mulling it over in their head. Like, wow, this is somebody so different. Like I usually have a type and you can just completely be um, somebody that is um, the opposite of what this person's used to. And I feel like it is a good thing. All right. So let's see how they feel about you. How do they feel about cancer? Look at that judgment card calling the angels of the past. All right. So how they feel about you. Um, so you have, you 
could be processing, um, you know, the past. We had that release the X. Um, and you could be kind of showing waves or hints um, that you are trying to get over somebody in your past. The three of uh, swords coming through in reverse does suggest that you are coming out of heartbreak, out of loss, you know. Um, and judgment card right here, um, it's the angels of the past. So as far as this person's energy towards you, how they feel about you is um, changing. It's growing. It's rebuilding and releasing those past situations. And I feel like they have a desire for you to let that go so that they can kind of move in. You know, it's like, hey, don't let somebody's old energy hold up the line. Let me have you, you know, let me come at you. Um, they could also feel that you are protective of your energy um, just a little bit. And if you've just recently gone through something um, cancer this is what's showing up you know um, so a little bit guarded so let's see um, what their intentions are with you their intentions what are their intentions so here's what I'm going to say. I feel like you guys will have some confusion when it comes to this connection, especially if you you haven't opened the door to your heart space for this person. All right. With the five of pentacles coming through in reverse, I would say that this person doesn't have any ill intentions. I don't feel like they're going to come in, make you fall in love and then leave you cold. All right. I feel if anything, um, you know, you probably deserved a, a better energy, a better type of person to come through here. Um, but this right here is, um, you know, your, your ships coming in, your wind coming in i do feel however it, it you might need some time to process um, everything before you actually let this person in we have the hangman card coming through and that's uncertain energy right here so i feel like their intentions are coming through more about well you know let's see where cancer's at if cancer's ready i'll go for it you know um, but if you're not ready this person definitely um what i'm gonna say cancer is they don't want to be kind of blindsided by you either so um i'm gonna say don't get all deep and then you know in a month realize oh i still have to let go of the past you know um i feel like this energy is just to be direct open and honest with this person and in turn i do feel like they will be the same for you um, so I feel like as far as their intentions, they really don't know where this is going at this moment in time, especially if you've kind of recently gone through something that's uh, hurt your heart space. But let's see what their potential is, their potential to be the one. What is their potential? All right, so here's what I'm going to say. We have the nine of want or swords coming through here. So I do feel like processing through um, old grief, letting go of circumstances out of our control. Um, they, those are going to have to definitely be, um, you know, um, they need to be navigated before this is going to go anywhere. All right. This right here is a healing card. So um, you guys might actually pull back the energy on this just so that you can heal. You might even tell that person, you know, I, I just I need to take it slow and I need to process through this. I feel like I'm talking to somebody who's recently gone through a breakup and then you meet somebody great. Um, but it's like they don't deserve um to have they don't they don't deserve um, to have you while you are in healing mode but i do feel in the future um you guys will be moving through dating having fun taking it easy taking it slow you know um building attraction building a friendship all right we have the nine of cups that's going to suggest a wish fulfillment coming through um so i feel like you know um healing is going to be really big for you so let's just see what the next 30 days will bring the next 30 days communication coming through um, and I feel like it is going to be something of a win-win so uh, open honest communication taking care of yourself um, healing yourself with the seven of wands um, so I kind of feel like where you guys are leading up to the next 30 days is is cancer if you've been through something heavy and deep it, uh, a spirit's definitely saying process process that out you know um, and have faith have faith in the future and have faith towards what it is you want and um, you might think that you want somebody from the past back or something wasn't done from the past um, but it's time to manifest and call in the type of relationship you want, not the not the person, not the physical looks, not your ex, you know, um, and, and if it's meant to be that your ex comes back um, because you guys are still holding on to that energy, it's really important to call in the type of relationship you want with that person. All right. Um, we have the Ace of Swords, which is, is communication. It's giving open, honest truth. And we have this King of Pentacles right here, which is um, just kind of um, being secure in who we are and what we want. All right. So I kind of feel like your guys' next 30 days is going to be um, healing, um, communication, focusing on, um, you know, our own um, security when it comes to our life. So let's see who we're talking to. 
who are we talking to for cancer? We have L and D and D I V and O. All right, cancer, you guys, I'm going to leave it there. Take care.